beginning, there was a great light. All stars huddled together in a small amorphous mass of heat and love, life, pleasure, and peace. Beyond our brilliant boundary, a great darkness loomed, whispering evils, taunting the stars on the other side. But bright we burn, so full of love and joy that no word of the great darkness could corrupt the great light. You are minuscule. I am massive and totally expansive. I will consume you. I will break you. I will extinguish your flame. Many eons passed. The great darkness constantly beat at our boundary, looking for any weakness he could exploit. He finally resigned from his vicious affronts, but his words became all the more destructive. Have you forgotten? Even if I cannot break you with my fists, time will break you. I am eternal. I cannot die. Someday, every light will expire, and once again, darkness will return. You will die, and I will consume your charred flesh. I will extinguish your flames of love and life. Memories and echoes of his words spread through the great light as the stars suddenly became aware of their mortality. Many began to doubt and dim. First, two stars left together. Then three more followed. Hopelessness spread like a disease. Those well enough fought it by burning all the brighter, sending rays of heat and love bursting from the boundary, chasing after the stars who had left. But even so, none returned. The stars remaining within the great light developed a new strategy to defy the darkness. They chose to sacrifice the great light. In a fiery and blinding supernova that illuminated the universe, the great light exploded in swarm gas, sending stars careening through the darkness. They called this the dawn. And so we brought light to the darkness, life to the lifeless rocks, joy to all reaches of the universe. The stars had acquired a new purpose Although many of us are apart, we can see each other and even speak and dance with each other. And in the future, all stars will come together.
we are ever so fortunate to have one another. To be hand in hand. Is this weight on my shoulders? For all of time, I have wandered the darkness, a shadow, timeless and forgotten. I feel cold here, now, but it is no less warm in actuality. Perhaps it is that I am thin. But can thinness justify the pressure I feel? The weight on my shoulders? The fog in my eyes? A star. No, two stars. I feel warmed by these stars, but this feeling is fleeting. They will die, like all others. The cold will return. Sister, what do you feel when you look at the stars? I see all the stars. I see all of them burning millions of light years away. All of them so alone. I can feel their loneliness. But I know I am not alone. I feel lucky to have you, to be hurtling through the darkness with you, the two of us together even as the universe expands. No cosmic wind can drive us apart. I have you and you have me. 
Sister. Sister, I love you. Sister? Do the lonely stars feel loved? Yes, sister. They feel loved. If they do not love themselves, then they feel the love of the planets that circle them. They feel the love of the stars that speak to them in shimmering, distant, but nonetheless profound whispers. And even some feel loved by the darkness. We stars are love incarnate. Sister? Why do the great darkness want to destroy the great light? The great darkness resented the love, life, and joy that flowed through the great light. He hated it for disrupting the darkness that he lusted after. He felt that if he could break our surface, he could ruin us, drain us of our love. But you cannot break love. Even though the great light has dispersed, its love is everywhere, all around us. It is in the light of every star, in the wind that shapes the universe, in the dark rocks that sprout with life, in the comet tails and gas clouds. The heart of the great light still hums through the cosmos. What makes him hate us? The great darkness has always hated us and always will. He is our verse. He is destruction. He is loss. He is sorrow. He is evil. He is lonely. He loves himself and hates all else. He seeks to be a universe unto himself. He is not lonely, but revels in his own power. He hides in the dark spaces between light. If you see him moving, do not think him lonely. Think him an enemy. Call to me and sing with the heart of the great light. I pity the life he has. I pity his loneliness. He does not pity his own life. It is useless for you to pity his. But do not think of the great darkness, for he cannot find us here. Our love is too strong. We burn too hot. Our laughter screeches in his ears. <laughs> Back, great darkness! Back, evil! My sister and I vanquish you with our love! We vanquish you, darkness! Louder, sister! We vanquish you, darkness! What has brought me back here? Why these two stars? Of all the stars in the sky, why these two? And still this weight on my shoulders. 
I feel it almost on my back now. But for a moment there, I didn't feel it at all. They are bright, brighter than most, but for a subtle dulling in the smaller one. A dulling I don't imagine even the other can see. Perhaps she cannot even see it herself. There is doubt in her mind. A scratch of meaninglessness on her scalp. A scratch that will become infected and consume her body. In time. Perhaps she would join me in the shadows. Perhaps she would wander with me through the emptiness.
Sister? What do you feel when you look at the stars? I feel warm. I see the twinkling of the stars. I feel the rushing cosmic wind. The memories are written deep in my core of the beginning of the 
great light. <laughs> I feel bliss. And as I move, I feel the moving as well. Even though they are so far away. Can you hear me, young star? I... I did not think you would hear me. Ah, there is no great darkness. There are stars and there are shadows. And there are rocks, and there is ice, and there is gas. I am the one who wanders the shadows. I am abyss. But I am not the great darkness. Not many have, and those who have do not remember me. Nothing is remembered in death. You will die, young star, but not today. I couldn't say, young star. Even if I knew, I couldn't say. There is no great light. All light will fade, and darkness will consume the universe. I do not know what death feels like, but darkness chills. Loneliness, isolation, distance weigh heavy on your shoulders. I walk a cruel path, but somehow you, young star, you warm me as I pass. Yes. There is no other abyss. Alone in death, if not before. Death is a lonely venture. Only you will feel your body decay. Only you will feel the exhaustion. There is no togetherness in the journey beyond. I, however, cannot die. I will wander the darkness alone for eternity. Death is eternal, young star. This moment is fleeting. You intrigue me, young star. You seem lonely, despite your sister. I wish for us to be together. 
together in our loneliness. Death is beautiful. It marks the end of these weak bodies and a return to eternity in the great light. As our last glorious light spreads in a supernova, we will slip through time and space, becoming one with the great light. In the beginning, the great light was only a fraction of the eternal great light. This greater great light is outside of all we know, wrapping its body around this, our dark universe, catching all the stars that fall from the surface. We will be warm and together and there will be no great darkness to ridicule us, taunt us, or attempt to drive us apart. It is perfection, peace. I already feel so close to that now. But, how do you know that to be true? No one has gone to the great light on the other side and come back to tell us what it's like. Older, wiser stars than I told me many years ago. But I feel its truth deeper than their words. I feel it in my core. A feeling so basic, so elemental, so essential to my being tells me that I am a part of a great light beyond this universe. Many years before you came to me, a star as old as dawn told me that I was fated to you and you to me. She told me we would be drawn together, becoming one in the end. Oh, the glory of our supernova explosion. Together we will paint the skies in a brilliant display of fire and love. Colored gases, cosmic winds, sparkling rocks and metals. It will be awesome, sister. All of the stars will rejoice when they see us go. Rejoice for our return to the great light. The ignorance of stars. The edge of death will be darker, expecting to join the light as they do. Young star, 
She amazes me. Still she doubts, despite the comforting words of her sister, of the thing closest to her. Some darkness hides at her core. She calls to me. In the beginning? Yes, but those were many years ago. I remember the depth of the darkness before the light clouded everything. The universe vibrated back then with a dark and wild untamable energy. You cannot even imagine, young star. Antimatter and dark matter careen through the darkness, colliding to create dark, magnificent voids. I saw seas of dark matter, canyons and space-time ripped open by antimatter falling into a new kind of darkness, a darkness beyond my comprehension. I saw massive voids so magnificent that nothing could steal my eyes away. will make no difference to your extinguished body. I will remember you long after you are gone, but everything is forgotten in the end. Even I, I will remember that I have been forgotten. Forgotten by you and every other star. Everything will forget me in death, but I will go on living. I will be truly alone.
stared into it, and it stared back through me. After what felt like eons, I finally found the strength to move my arm. I reached out with my hand to feel the edge, but my hand moved into it. sense it within your core, even though I cannot see it with my eyes. I am the emptiness you feel. I am the loneliness, the darkness in your heart. Young star, come with me to the edge of the universe. Come with me to the darkness. Let me show you a time before the light. Let me show you the beauty of darkness. Sister, what has happened to you? Inside. 
Life is meaningless. Star has no purpose but to wait for death. Sister, you are much too young to die, but die I will, as will all. Sister, you have me, and I have you, but that will not keep us from the end. The end? The end. The darkness. Sister, what has happened to you? Abyss. Abyss? What is abyss? Sister. I saw abyss. Abyss. Sister, I am here. Do not feel lonely, young star. I am here. You are with me forever. Even when we leave this universe to join the great light. I am here forever. Yes, you will pass on. But we can still be together while you are here. Together in our loneliness. What purpose does that serve? What? What is meaning supposed to be? We are meant for each other. Sister. Supposed to be. We are fated. We are certain. Death is the only certainty. We are lonely. Let us be lonely together. The great light! Death. Total warmth and togetherness. Let me show you the vast darkness of the universe. Do not die. We have time together. Let me comfort you before death. We have eons left together. I won't last that long. This. Sister? Is there someone else there? This is here. The great darkness. There is no great darkness, but the darkness we're already in. You are my light, and I am yours. We are in the light of all the stars. The promise of the great light. Young star, do not fear the darkness. Death is darkness. Sister, 
death is light. I am tired. Come with me. I will carry you. No. I will sleep here. Good night, Abyss. Young star, it is not your time to sleep. Death is certain. But when and where is not. I have seen your heart. I can make you whole. Sister. in your core. You are more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. A memory of darkness before the dawn. I shall call you Cygnus. Young star feared death, but Cygnus, you may know an eternity as a black hole. You will outlast the light, and you will join me in the darkness that comes after. Thank you, sister. Sister? 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 It is you. The void that was once your sister consumes you as we speak. Soon you will fall into the darkness of Cygnus.
Sister. I thought I lost you. What's that, sister? I love you too, sister. Of course I remember when we danced. Would you like to dance again? Your warmth is spent. You go to your death. You will not find your sister in the darkness. She has become Black Hole. She has become Cygnus. No, I do not go to darkness. I go to light. I go to join my sister. In love. In warmth. Joy. And togetherness. I love her. And she loves me. You are lost. You are alone. I will know an eternity of love and peace. While you suffer. I go to love I go to my sister the great light
No, old star. You die, and you will be as lonely as I.